there are some companies we can't resist, companies that have a kind of hybrid situation going where they have technology both for gizmos, gadgets, and also for uh, solar, which was why we originally recommended Cypress Semi. But now the two have gone, Cypress and SunPower, which were the things we liked, have gone their separate ways. We got to find out how Cypress Semi, CY, is doing all alone. That's why we're bringing back Dr. T.J. Rogers, CEO and President of Cypress Semi. T.J., how you been? I've been great. Okay. First, for the people who we recommended the stock to that owned it, they'll look at the stock today and they'll say it's down three. What happened? Can you explain the the uh, the way that the distribution's working? Uh, yeah, today uh, Cypress is still trading as a, a semiconductor plus a solar company, and uh, SunPower went down ten bucks. Uh, First Solar went down seventeen bucks. So, who knows what happened today? The solar guys—they uh, fall in and out of love with solar. It's like a metronome, and it, it, it goes about three times a week. Right. Whenever oil goes down, or the oil stocks go down, will you will you be grateful when you're back to just running a company that trades as a semiconductor technology stock? Sure. Uh, I, I, I'm glad to have an opportunity to get back and focus on semiconductors. I'm glad to spin out $3 billion worth of stock to our shareholders, which will be, you know, pretty much the entire value of the shares they're holding now. They'll get as a dividend, and then they'll own as a residual the chip company, and we'll, we'll do it again. We'll come up with some more ideas and, and do it again. I, I want to mention to our viewers that this, there's been a lot of weakness in uh, companies in the semiconductor business that haven't made you money. We've had a couple of them on. This one has one that has made you money. So I want you to just uh, listen up when we start talking. Okay, now Cypress has a lot of diverse industrial businesses that a lot of people, it sells into it, that a lot of people would say, well, wait a second, we're having a worldwide slowdown. Uh, what is Cypress seeing in its end markets? Uh, it's true. The semiconductor industry is in the doldrums right now. We've got uh, uh, end markets are slowing down. Uh, we see it across the board. The consumer market had been strong up through the middle of this quarter. It's looking a little iffy right now. So, you know, I'm in my, I started in semiconductors uh, 1975, and uh, I'm in my 23rd downturn. Uh, this is the 23rd end of the world, and after that, there will be a 24th beginning of the new world. So, yeah, t times are a little tight. We're still making money, uh, so, so it's uh, not catastrophic. It's a lot better than some of the other ones have been through, like 2001, for example. So this is not as bad as the other downturns, even though everyone's uh, saying chicken little here. Well, my, uh, my former boss at Advanced Micro Devices, Jerry Sanders, called uh, semiconductors the crude oil of the electronics industry, and it's true. So things come and things go, and uh, cell phone didn't exist when we started Cypress. Now it's a huge cons uh, consumer of uh, integrated circuits. And, and basically, whatever is electronics is going to have chips in it, and the chip guys are going to be there. Our first biggest uh, customer was the Digital Equipment Corporation in 1984. They don't exist anymore. They got bought by Compaq. It was a huge customer of ours. They don't exist anymore. Uh, they're part of Hewlett Packard. And, and our little chip company, a billion dollars, is still around and, and uh, still serving customers. Excellent. T.J. Rogers, thank you for making all the viewers of Mad Money so much money. Really appreciate it. Great job. Thank you. Okay, that's T.J. Rogers, CEO, President of Cypress Semi. You heard what he's going to do. He's going to make it for you again. I say you stick with T.J. I say you stick with Kramer. <laughs>